This video and the ZZ video are the toughest videos that I've ever had to make, I think, because they're essentially me confessing past embarrassments uh, over misunderstandings that I had inside the Bible that really, even the people that were teaching me, they had not noticed some of these things that I had seen uh, or came to see later on. I come from the Messianic Hebrew roots, uh, Hebrew Israelite standpoint, which if you're not familiar is we believe in the Messiah, but we also believe you keep Torah. That's actually where I come from. Um, my entire knowledge base, the, the whole foundation of my Bible reading comes from that perspective. Uh, so I always think it's very interesting when people come to me and they'll say things like, ah, oh, you don't understand the Hebrew Israelite <laughs> movement. <laughs> you know, I kind of chuckle like, you don't know, man. Uh, you don't know some of these things that have, uh, some of these places I've been, some of the people I know, even the people I hang out with day to day are Hebrew Israelite individuals. Uh, so I'm very familiar with the Hebrew Israelite stance. Uh, so it is odd for me to bring up things that are directly against the Hebrew Israelite stance. It's just um, the human nature inside of myself uh, having a difficulty dealing with that, uh, I suppose. But nonetheless, I will uh, continue. You know, forever is one of these words that when people read it in the Bible, they think it means eternity. And sometimes when you read it in the Bible, it does mean eternity. But guess what? There's lots of times where the word forever does not mean eternity. Uh, there's examples in the Bible, and I actually have them inside the article, uh, where forever means uh, a few decades. I kid you not. And if you think about how you use the word forever in your daily, uh, daily life, you will see that you often, and maybe never, have used the word forever uh, to mean eternity. You know, a person can say, be at a restaurant, for instance, waiting 20 minutes to eat, the waiter will come up and be like, how long are you guys... We're waiting. Oh, we were waiting forever. How long have you guys lived in this area of the country? Oh, we've lived here forever. You mean eternity when you say that? Nah. And it's the same way inside the Bible. Now, what I've found to be... <sighs> Some of this stuff is difficult to talk about, you know? Um, I love having difficult conversations, too, you know, face-to-face. -face, but I know that a lot of this is going to be misunderstood. Forever means eternity, usually in reference to the kingdom of God, which is a spiritual kingdom, mind you. So it truly has permanence, unlike a natural kingdom on the planet, which of course could not exist forever. <laughs> you know, uh, When it comes to understanding the end of the world, the end of time, uh, a, which by the way is a past event, there's really three aspects that need to be understood. It's one, the word forever doesn't mean forever in every instance. Two, the words world, earth, um, and land, really. Those words don't quite mean what you think they mean. And then three, it's contextual reading um, along with uh, idioms, you know, idioms, figures of speech. So, you know, these are the, really the biggest difficulties inside of the Bible that are generally unknown. So the article is beneath there. It shows you how forever is translated from the word, the Hebrew word olam, shows you how forever does not mean eternity in a great many of instances. And uh, I know my Messianic Hebrew roots, Hebrew Israelite brethren, if you will, uh, will have disagreements. Um, bring those disagreements, you will be eaten up. I, I am certain of it. You know, it's not defendable. Uh, the word forever does not mean eternity in a great many of instances. And this is one of those things that just has to be understood about the Bible. Look, man, I come from uh, doing apologetics with Christians, you know, debating with Christians, if you will. And I would always show that verse from Acts chapter 24, verse 15, I think, or 14, where Paul says, uh, according to the way which they call a sect, so I worship the God of my fathers, believing all things that are written in the law and the prophets. I would quote that verse, then take them to the Torah and show them how various aspects of the law were said to be done forever. And the Christian has no way to escape because forever means eternity and they cannot explain why it is that they haven't been keeping the Sabbath when it says it needs to be done forever. If I had only known, or if anyone had even known, it seemed, that uh, forever was not eternity uh, when it was being referred to there, you could have showed examples 
than people could have gotten out. I, I'm telling you, as a guy who did this a lot, I never saw a person uh, in debate bring up the fact that forever was not eternity. You know, um, I know there's are there are messy any people that are aware of this and teach on this, and somehow still come to the stance that they're to do things for eternity. Unfortunately, this stance is not provable. Look, when God gave the command to Moses to give to the Israelites that they're going to do things forever, and then those things, of course, were done for thousands of years, all the way up until the destruction, the final destruction of the temple in 70 AD, you're talking about 2,000 years of time here. If all your descendants are going to be able to keep these commands for 2,000 years, you might as well say it's forever even if it is an eternity. It's still 2,000 years. But look at where we live today. The very commands that are written in the law have not been practiced in 2,000 years. So obviously they can't be forever. It can't be eternity. Uh, so that's, that's kind of where we are with this. Um, yeah, that's everything. That's the, that's the whole feelings on it. And uh, the article is, is below. Yeah, we'll see you guys later.